is the right man for the seat. Who are we? Nice one, nice one. The bonus for you as you know it. Who are we? The Abba Bumba is a group of working, group working for the association of essential ambition of Ashwaju Bola Mentinumbo. And in doing this, you have those who have worked assiduously to achieve this feat. The movement shall have presence in that systems of the nation and the federal capital territory. Our national secretary shall be manned by leaders and officers who will be appointed, elected by consensus and counsel by our leaders. Our mode of operation. For now, we hope to use Lagos State Chapter as a springboard for activation of the movement nationwide. We will also work to achieve national spread through the necessary contacts and collaborations as well as series of people friendly programs with which we will make useful impact on the lives of our people. Our food soldiers, it is my pleasure to convey the great team that will handle the assignment in Lagos State, State of Aquatic Splendor. A seed that will germinate into a plant and a tree that will spread across the 36 states of Nigeria and the federal capital. The real work is to get Ashiwa Jubola Nentinubu first as the flag bearer of our party. And then to get him installed as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Quote me. May 29, 2023, I will be wearing Ashiwaju is president. This is the responsibility we carry as Nigerians. Because of this huge responsibility, naturally, minds across the country and beyond are filled with all minds of thought about 2023. And rightly so. Because of the shoulder that we carry, the burden of the black race as Nigerians, the whole nation, the whole continent, the whole world is looking on to us that what will happen in 2023. What does the year pretend for all of us as Nigerians in politics and in policy? Who will lead us into this critical phase of our journey in our nationhood? How will Nigerians take a leadership role in the Committee of Nations? The answers to these critical questions are deeply connected with our mission here today, the purpose of our gathering. And what is that mission? It is an historic inauguration of the working committee of our great leader, Ashwajibola Ahmed Chinubu, ABAT Movement specially created for the actualization of the presidential dream of our leader and mentor, Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu. My fellow party men, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, our convergence here this afternoon is to raise foot soldiers, is to raise converts, is to raise team leaders, is to raise cheerleaders, is to have committed over 1,500 men here today that are drawn first from our 57 local government and LCDA, from our 377 wards across the nooks and cranny of Lagos, who will go into the world to propagate the gospel of not only voting wisely, but voting correctly in the interests of the largest nation in black Africa, Nigeria. I'm sure that through you, the message will cascade down to all the zones, to all the units, and to all the structures, so that nobody in Lagos will be left out. I certainly want to appreciate all of my fathers that are here, and all the members of the ABAT movement for their thoughtfulness in creating this avenue 
for addressing our basic moral and political need as a people by undertaking to provide a platform for the people to broaden their political horizon through constant education and enlightenment. Your wealth signing up to becoming their friends and their confidants. You are therefore, you cannot afford to disappoint yourself. You cannot afford to disappoint us. You must be above board in all your conduct and your ways. What we are about here today is not about all the 300 or 400 or 1,000 of us that are in this room. It's not about the 57 chairmen. It's not about the 377 words that we have. It's about the Black Race. It's about our country, Nigeria. And it's about the biggest nation on the continent of Africa. And we must see ourselves in line with Ashwaju's humane policy to be open to all to tolerate various interests, and to embrace everyone in productive ideas. We must reflect those ideas of our leader in everything we say and we do. We are the tier leaders that are starting this movement here today. We are the converts that are starting it here today. And it's not just about us. It's about what he stood for. It's about how many lives he has taught. It's about how many of us he has influenced. And we believe that because he has influenced everybody here today, he can indeed influence every soul in this country. Let us go out there and encourage our people first to ensure that they have the ability to vote, to cast their vote. Let's go out and ensure that they have a voter's card so that they can be part of the next journey when we're conducting the election next year. PVC is a right, and everybody must ensure that we go out to get it. It is necessary for everyone to make the required sacrifice to ensure that INEC, who is an umpire's umpire, have a level field playing field for everyone to play. We live in interesting times, and I'm sure every speaker has said it here. Not just our country, but the whole world have one challenge or the other. We know that some parts of this country are not as livable as we are seated here today. We have trouble in some part of this country. We have security challenges in some part of this country. Our economies certainly do need a big push. Our young people, they require for most jobs, jobs, and more jobs. And there are several other challenges. Therefore, it is clear for me and for all of us that are here today that we need to look for a good successor for our president, President Buhari, who should be able to continue from where he stops next year and put the work together to make Nigeria truly on the path of unstoppable progress of unity and peace. That person has to be a tritabalized Nigeria that person must be a real bridge builder. That person must be a lover of men and women. That person must be a man that has been trusted and tested. That person must be a man that really has an ungiven spirit that can even give himself out. That person must truly first be a Nigerian. That person is the person all of us are here for. That person is the true person that we believe can help us ensure the legacy that our current president will be leaving behind. We'll take it to a level that will be new light and new heights that we've never seen before. That person is Ashwaju Bola and Mayor Tinubu. Ashwaju Bola and Mayor Tinubu it's not just a wise choice, it's a good choice. And we should not let it elude Nigeria come 2023. Let's take this message to every street, to every corner shop, to every beer parlor, to every market, to every community engagement, to every local council, to every nook and cranny of this country, to every city, to every region, 
and let's sign it loud and clear that indeed we have identified somebody that can take the country to an enviable level that indeed every African will be truly proud of. The choice of who becomes the next president of our country is a vital issue that one cannot be put to chance. There's no time for speculation or permutation. The remarkable achievement by our current president, President Muhammad Buhari's administration, must be sustained and be improved upon. His legacy must ensure that it's preserved. Fortunately, Ashwaju has announced his intention to run. What can be sweeter than that? 